Oh yeah, baby. Welcome to Los Angeles. Eng. Yeah, this is the future of where we live, I guess. I think it is. See that little uh, ramp over there on the right side of the screen? The, fr the freeway? Yeah. Yeah. I live there now. That's you? Yeah. Oh. That's my car right there with the speakers on top. Oh, tight. Yeah. Uh, we're the Beard Bros. We're Hi. playing Crash 4. Yeah. Welcome back to it. Uh, my name is Brett. I'm still on the sticks. I'm Alex, and I am a licensed video game expert, mother clucker. What do you think? I love it. What are those ones that are exclamation points down there? Digital downloads? Digital oh, like download. Ultimate edition? Oh, man, that's Alex's alternate from Street Fighter V. I, yeah, I thought you meant me, and I was like, there's no way that that... Well, that's Alex's primary. That's yeah. your default, man. That's my primary right there. If I had, like, muscles. What the fuck is this one? Oh. Thank you. Here's the thing, though. You can play as his sister, too, in this game. Coco? Yeah. Is she the same thing? Yeah, same thing. Same game Unicorn play. Coco. Oh, and she's got art student. That's okay. exactly what it is. I was just gonna be, I was just gonna say, oh, that must be what it's called because I see this and see art student too. Why are we both seeing uh, what is that? Wait a minute. What is it about that that makes us see art student immediately? The beanie. It's the beanie. Is it just the beanie? Like if it, she just had the beanie though. I think it's like the beanie and the like Something about the outfit that like kind of goes like Dario vibes to me. I don't What's know. What's going on? Like, but I, I agree with you wholeheartedly. I just don't know why. This I don't even know what to say. Shauna the she devil. Yeah, uh -huh. that's pretty cool. Resistance is futile. 360 no scope. Looks good terrible. Looks this like version Spy of kids. this version of Crash Bandicoot's sister is really good at blowing people's heads off without aiming. <laughs> Ugh. I kind of want to use that just because of your reaction. Go go back to Crash real quick. All right. Go, go to a skeleton. Go to Crash Bandicoot Skeleton, Can you look please? at Crash Bandicoot Skeleton, please? Okay, I was going to say, it's weird that they put, like, underwear on the lady skeleton and not on the dude skeleton, but they did. Yeah, he's got undies. He's got undies. Hers, less comical. Yeah. Hers is kind of like Lola Bunny's actual outfit. Why do they need undies at all? That's a great question, Ted. Because they didn't want to... Hey, you ready? Because they didn't want to see Crash Bandicoot's boner. Hey. Oh man. There All wouldn't right. be Hey. No, I just he's, he's, anyone? Think about it. Take a minute. That's true. Most animals do have bones in their genitals. Yeah, skeleton. Uh, right? He's a skeleton. Which one do you think we should use? Uh there's also Oh, they're just like preview. They're this like, one? oh beat the game and you can get the like huh. like masochist sadist. Yeah, what's going on? Is he beat the fuck up? Yeah. Yeah, which one do you think we should use? Chicken fucker. What's it called? Mother flucker? But she, Mother okay, fucker? she has unicorn, but you, you want to use chicken? Yeah, I mean, if we're talking crash, I want the chicken. All right, that's what I'm saying. We don't have to use Scratch. Yeah, I mean, Coco, I, I don't know. I don't know her. I don't know her. Well, let's I've never get to seen know her real quick. Yeah. I've never seen her. Let's get to know her. And Art I student, don't want to use the unicorn. Art student Coco? Let's do it. Yeah. At the end of this level is a bong for her to rip. I don't see, but see, like, art student, she's, like, doing something. She's not, like, I feel like art student would have, like, a piece, like a little uh, pipe. Like in her little like weird fabric pouch, yeah. but she also has. But she also, she's she's like P N W so vibes. Like she she's like to close the rifts? coffee. Correct. Now my brother Ricardo mm. is around here somewhere. Welcome to the show, Engine is such a and shitty behold, name. The aforementioned putz. Wow. We have a thing where we fight behold the aforementioned putz. Putz, well putz is like a, a a line that yeah, I would write for a character in like. Middle school improv. This is what happens when uh, Dexter goes too far. <laughs> That's what happens when I fucking use my audio uh, filters too much when I'm doing voiceover. For real talk, didn't he look just like fucking Dexter and sound like him? It's 100%. Okay, wait. So, what the fuck are you wearing? I thought you were the fucking art student. Yeah, but I think I've. I've uh... <laughs> this ruined everything, didn't it? I've, I've like turn, turn this game off. All right. Uh, no, no. Uh, See you guys later. Coco, <laughs> Coco. Oh, it's like it's like a mechanic for switching the boxes. Okay. That's me. Okay, I got you. She's like, yeah, I fused with the little nervous mask. She's still an art student. It's okay. She's just different now. She just got an outfit on. It's fine. Oh, I can't listen. I need. That's sick, actually, though. It's fun, huh? I like this. They're doing stuff. Definitely. Ready for 
Hell oh. yes. Finally, my powers are Dude, that's like so punk what she just did. Yeah, man. She was like, fuck the mass media. <laughs> she aced herself, bro. Yeah, her fucking third period fucking anarchy artworks exam. Artworks. You heard it here, folks. Her I win. I win. My joke's I better. I can't say anything else. <laughs> my clean joke. My, my, my joke was too clean. Oh, the. Oh, interesting. What's that? Oh. It's my boy. Is that. What is that thing? It's like a extra hit? Yes. Who the hell are you? Oh, bye. Oh, shit. I don't know if that guy was. Uh, I don't know if that guy was not an enemy. They're all enemies to me. Look, look you saw what I did to Spyro? That's fair. And I liked Spyro. Well, to be fair, Spyro, that was just that was just a, a rubber facsimile of Spyro. Are, they, are, are rafts made of rubber? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, shit. Wait, he like... Do you, do you like fake you out? There were two of them. Yeah. Are, are there always two? I'm not sick of our old. Okay, wait. Okay, now we... Oh. Oh. Uh-huh. So we're just gonna leave that alone then, huh? But what do you do with it? Maybe we'll find out. Okay. Oh, interesting. Come. Oh. Uh oh. That was a close one. Can I reach this? Yes, I can. Clean beans, baby. Oh, that's not good. The world is mine, Alex. Why did I? The hubris go before the fall. Oh, you got something to say, Ted? Ted's, Ted's been watching this whole time. You got something to say? He has his. Book, I said it. He has oh, his right. book out with the with the bookmarker in there with the with the line highlighted, and he stood up and he held it out so he could read it like an orator reading Shakespeare at the college. <laughs> Ted's like, I can't wait for him to make a mistake. I will say my line! So this is like post-apocalyptic Mad Max world. According to the map, we're in 2084, but this is like... This just looks like... Oh, fuck, I did it again. This looks like current day Tucson. It looks... It really just looks like you're about to, like, order some fucking shit on Acme. Acme.com. Yeah, Roadrunner stuff, right? Yeah. Is there an Acme.com? There has to be. Like, you think that's happened in the in the, in the the world of Looney Tunes? Yeah, I've, Acme predates Looney Tunes, I'm pretty sure. Like... Acme does? It's a real, that's a real company. Like, the trope of Acme being, like, the go-to company? I don't know about being the go-to, but, like, <clears throat> that's, like, there's a real Acme, and I'm pretty sure it predates, like, all the Looney Tunes bullshit. Is it really an actual Acme? Definitely. At least there used to be. That's crazy. I did not know that. That is weird, wild stuff. I actually thought that was just from Looney Tunes. I'm going to... Somebody sent me a... You know who Rob Gronkowski is? No. The Gronk? He's like an athlete, and he's kind of just like a big, doughy, kind of sweet, dumb guy. Aw. And uh, he did a promotion for Dunkin' Donuts. Mm. And one of them is him holding the drinks and saying and smiling. He's just wearing like a t-shirt and jeans. He's just kind of in like a generic ice zone. And he's holding these drinks and the, it says Gronk. He drinks it. And then the other one is him smiling and holding two cups and kind of like going like, ah! And it says like, stay healthy or something like that. Huh. And it was on Twitter yesterday because everybody was like, I legit, when I saw these, thought that Gronk was like a made up Dunkin' Donuts like original character mm. who they had to like... To, ship, to, to sell their new frozen drinks. Nope, real dude. Butt slams, huh? So if you. Oh, so like a belly? Oh no, she's got. I think Crash has got the belt. So she's just. She doesn't want to hurt her uh, her iPad Pro. So she needs it. To Is she still really carrying around? That's so. Yeah, I never. <laughs> she's got an iPad Pro. Like, let's be real. That's the art student. Do you think she's Gen Z? Oh, are you kidding me? But what about Crash? Gen Y? Crash like Gen X, dude. He's weird. That's, they've got a lot of, like, uh, time between the two of them then. Crash, Crash thought he was, like, punk. He thought he was, like, subversive. Right? 
He thought he was like the most like alt like game character. Did he? Right? Like yeah, like in the nineties he thought he was like so hard, but really he like the whole time he was like in the pocket of big PlayStation, like like fucking Eddie Vedder or some shit. Like Eddie Vedder wasn't no like punk like alt like counterculture icon. He was just the most popular thing. Mm. That's what that's the big trick that that got played on Gen Z or Gen Gen X. They thought they were something, but really they're like the most establishment generation that there is. And you're I think you're really calling some people out. I mean right get now. wrecked, Gen Z, but like let's be honest. Let's before you get mad at me and you talk about like why you specifically disprove that, like you're wrong. <laughs> wow. Inflammatory. I'm an expert. I'm a generational expert. Inflammatory. I'm a video it's game crazy. expert. It's crazy that you know. It's crazy that you know so much about every generation that's ever been. I know everything about everything. If that's you right there, that kid. Yeah. Running around, that's you with your fucking opinions. Oh yeah. This motherfucker said Gen X is the most establishment. This motherfucker. They are. They're the most establishment because they don't even know their establishment. Wow. Wow. They all dress like goths, but they like they like don't want to go someplace dirty. Wow. Yeah. Like that hip coffee shop that was so artsy, the coffee costs like ten dollars. Whoopsie doopsies. You're really man, you're you're blowing some people up today. Dave Matthews band. Uh you know, I don't know who else is Gen Z. Rage Against the Machine. All all bands that play giant arenas. Just saying. You think Rage Against the Machine is Gen Z? Gen X. Gen X. Mm. What better place than here? Look, I like them. So do I. They're mainstream. Sure. Yeah. This motherfucker, you are calling out a whole I'm going to war generation. today, man. There's no more fear. What's going on? What happened to you? There's no more fear. There's oh, no more what fear in here, oh, man. this is Pimp Grimace for Alex? Yeah, you know what's up with Pimp Grimace? Pimp Grimace needs to be free to say what he wants to maintain his individuality in the space. That's, otherwise, that is the definition of Pimp Grimace. Yeah. If otherwise, Pimp Grimace is just another fucking VTube. He's another vlogger. He's just trying to do SEO. Mm. He's a lifestyle vlogger. I think I know how to do this. You have to switch him away, bounce up, hit the shit. Look at that there, huh? It's a puzzle. Okay, I like I like the crates now. What do you mean you like them now? You didn't like them before? I think it, I think it's kind of like an ugly thing to be like coin, but I like them now. You don't think the crates are aesthetically pleasing? It's just a weird choice. Like we got coins, we got rings, we got like DVDs, we got tapes, and then this one's like it's like a box. Yeah. Which like fine, but now I understand how they made it work for them. And I, I respect it. You think they sold out though? No, no. Oh. I just think Crash Bandicoot himself, like, morally sold out. I don't know, the dude just lives on a beach. By himself. Yeah. In the hands of big game. Wow. That's right. What about his sister? Is she a sellout? No, she's in college. She's cool. Some would say that that's the biggest sellout move of all. Go to college? Yeah. No, it's an art college. It co it's pretty cheap. It's, oh, it's, it's local. Oh, it's not a... I see. Okay. Mo she's more worried about gallery shows than she is about... Networking at, at school. I hope this does not blow me up. How are we doing? Is that so that that's where you learn that those exploding crates don't blow up the uh, the reinforced steel Whoops. boxes? I guess so. I fucked up. Look at this guy. Oh! Oh my god! Oh my god! Did he just kill you? Violent. He like robbed you. That was so violent. That's that was that was me talking about Crash Bandicoot being Gen X. Yeah, not listen. You claiming these Gen X fine. You talking about how Gen X is the most sellout generation? I didn't say fuck. they're the most sellout. Oh, what'd you say? I said they're the most like mainstream, oh. like like they're the most like. Uh -huh. I don't remember what word I used. I don't think sellout. Well, what do you? How do you? I don't mean a what sellout. What is this? What sentiment? They think that they're they they think that they're counterculture, but they're the most mainstream. It was just like a generation where looking and acting like you're in the counterculture was like the main thing. I think that's... I don't know, man. I think that's every generation. I think every generation has a counterculture I don't, that eventually becomes the mainstream. Maybe, but there ain't no hipsters walking around looking like Taylor Swift. Uh... No! Was that not the saddest? It just... It was just, you know, it's life. You know? Here's the thing, though. 
you know, I'm making some mistakes, right? Yeah. But like, I'm not worried about lives. You see how many lives I have? No. Oh, okay. Where? Next time I die, oh. just take a look. Oh, oh there it is. shit. Okay. Just got another one. Dude. I'm not too worried about it, you know? What do you call that? That's like a that's like a good thing. Some games are like fuck a life. What some do you game, mean? some games are like here's like a hundred lives. Like Mario. Uh huh. Sometimes you play for like an hour and you have like sixty five lives by the end. So you're saying so like the the leniency of lives? Like what do you call it? What does that mean? It's not really like a life at that. Point. I mean it is, but it's like it's a life. I fuck. think it's just um. Like why is it? It's there? like a. It's like the empty thread of a game over. Yeah. It's like vestigial. I don't know if it's vestigial. I mean like. Some would claim that lives being in games nowadays are a bit prestigious. But I'm not sure if I would say that also. Hey, yeah, we've done this before, right? Yeah, here we go. It's like saying, like, guitars oh, are prestigious in music, though. Uh, I don't know about that. Because, like, the guitars still serve a purpose. Whereas in many games nowadays, uh, lives don't even really serve much of a purpose. Well, that's kind of what I was getting at. Is like, mm -hmm. I don't really feel like they do serve the same purpose that they did in, like, 1994. That's fair, but Vestigial is serves no purpose no more. You know what I mean? Yeah. Serving a different purpose is, uh, different. Oh, we got Let's check it out. Yeah, this will be you, Alex. This is going to be you. Switching. I love that. Mm -hmm. Like, to me, like, the most modern version of lives is, like, the flasks from Dark Souls. Okay. It's like a deployable, like a self-deployable kind of like life for your run before you get a game over. I don't know. I'm just I'm just spitballing. Video game expert, you know. It's true. It's hard. It's hard to keep my brain. Because you're on. an expert, anything you say somehow becomes true. There's a YouTube channel that has this video essay on it already just because I started talking about it. Check that out. Oh. Damn, I missed two? Oh well. Oh, that's funny. Okay, so they just are like, let's see if you fucking are a cool guy or a, or a, or a sus guy. I was not a cool guy, apparently. Ah. Oh. I needed four out of six, so... To get the fucking yeah. witness me fucking Mad Max <laughs> Crash Bandicoot skin? Now, if I were Gerard, <laughs> I would just do this. Is that what's going to happen right now? No, I mean, I'm not Gerard. I don't know. Like, you you definitely like took some time on that other puzzle. I don't know. I don't know what to believe. Took some time. Man. There's a difference between like, you're right. oh, there's a puzzle right here. Right. Let me I do just, it versus like know. replaying a whole level. When you're having fun, sometimes you want to try again. I don't know. Right. Uh, let's switch it up though. I agree. You want that chicken, don't you? Yeah. Damn, I kind of do want this thing. You want the like Mad Max Wasteland crash? I do, but I'm looking at old oh, time trials. Well, not time trials, but the uh, the videotape. I forgot about the videotapes. That'll be fun. Okay. You'll, we'll see. We'll see. Okay. Yeah. All right. It's just making me think of Tony Hawk. Mm -hmm. Secret tapes. I'm real bummed about the fact that apparently uh, Tony Hawk 3 and 4 yeah. were planned to be made, but then like, now they're not. That's it's not like some business merger bullshit that just Business! Made. Sorry, go ahead. It's some business merger bullshit like made it not happen. Nice. Okay, so they really just wanted you to get that. Yeah, that's the, the gimme, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Won't always be like that. Also, how many in this level? 136? That's kind of a lot, brother. And there'll be some silly pile of boxes. Honestly, <laughs> you're not wrong. Yeah. Like a lot of the time, it's like, here's uh, here's 40 of them. I'm kind of like getting the vibe of this game now. Kind of starting to understand what's the deal. What's the deal? I'm trying to understand. I'm starting to understand what's the deal. Sure. You made it through that sentence and I'm proud of you. I'm starting to understand what's the deal. I wanted to say my funny turn of phrase, so I kept it. Uh oh. Look at that little fucking asshole over there. You see him? He looks like a little dirty Frankenstein baby. You know who he looks like? Huh. Whoever's editing this, Ted, put up the cover of Ghoulies. There you go. That's exactly who that is. He looks like if one of the guys that Dr. Frankenstein went to get parts from is Montana Max. You know who else it is? Ted, put up, um, there's a weird, like, baby character with a Freddy Krueger glove in the movie Cool World. Put that guy up. Looks like him, too. <laughs> There was definitely a box in there, wasn't there? Something happened while you were in there. I heard a, I heard a, oh, I heard like a cracking sound. God, this guy moves. What like, are you doing, man? He moves like he has to use body, you know? This guy decided to kill himself today. This guy got up and he was like, at the end of the day, I'm going to be a pile of flesh. So you're saying he hasn't killed himself yet? He like did this and this is his plan. 
He's when like, he, either I'm gonna run into this motherfucker, or he's gonna, or I'm just gonna blow up at the end. I see. I had to ask because homeboy already looks kind of undead. You know what That's I mean? fair. He moved like Estelle Getty. A what? Estelle Getty. Estelle Getty. Estelle Getty. Oh, not a, a, Estelle Getty. Estelle, yeah. I'm with you. We're back. <laughs> Estelle Getty. I was like, what is Estelle Getty? Is that from Game of Thrones? <laughs> and we look into the dead. You find a stick. I thought it was a magic card, actually. Like Stelgetti? Yeah. It's definitely a black card. Stelgetti? Yeah. Yeah. This? Where am I? Sp where? Is that a way to jump over there to the side? Yeah, but that looks like the, the way. way. Yeah. I guess. Is this it? For I this think you're little? good. All right. Unless you want to like leap towards the camera, but. Oh, oh, brother. What? Right. I forgot about colored gems. Remember um, the puzzle we did, the one you made fun of me for? The red one. Yeah. Because we got that red gem, this showed up. This would have been like a Super Mario World. Like a Switch Palace. Yeah. Okay. This would have been, uh, I think, either not there at all or... Invisible. Or uh, transparent. Got it. And we wouldn't have been able to do... Oh, my God. So that's just like a little extra bonus zone over here. Dude, this is a cool way to do levels. I and like this it. This is like... As old as Crash itself, you know? Uh oh. I like it because it makes you go around to all the levels for various reasons. Yeah, it's fun. Oh, so I can't, like, stomp on that guy. Yep, well, my mistake. I apologize. Oh, oh, okay. Okay, I get it, I get it. Is there an up one? Oh, yeah. Oof. Shout out to, you know what is new, though? I don't know if it's new to this game or not, but, like, that little, um, circle beneath him yeah pretty sure it wasn't in the old games it definitely helps it's you know? it's one of those things looking back at like a million isometric and 3d mm. games that they made over the years mm. that you're like why the fuck didn't they do this yeah because sometimes they do a shadow and it like kind of works right right, right. but it's never it, it like this this is great oh wait is this flush with the building or not the, the the nitro is the nitro flush with the building. Like I if can't I, tell which of these I'm supposed. If to I had to up. guess, I would say that it is. I would say no because of the shadow. I just said fuck it. You know that worked. Did I get everything here? I, I I don't remember a part where you made a compromise. And everything down there was I got it all right. All right, let's go. <sighs> we should probably blow out next time on Beard Bros. We're gonna finish this level. Alex will be on the sticks probably pretty soon, right? Pretty soon, yeah. Oh. Why not? I'll try it out. I'm gonna grind this rail next time. It'll be sweet. I'm afraid all progress will just halt if I pick up the controller, but... That don't... Listen, there's no such thing as halting progress. Just you having a good yeah, time. Yeah, you're right. You're right. I shouldn't be a mother clucker. We'll see you next time, mother cluckers. Bye. Fuck off. Fuck off. Fuck off.